On Thursday evening Thomas Peter FFY, the billionaire founder of Interactive Brokers, took stock of a day unlike any in his over 50-year trading career. An army of novice traders had united on social media site Reddit and relentlessly bought stock and options in ailing video game retailer GameStop on trading applications such as Robinhood, driving its stock from $20 at the start of the year to nearly $500 that afternoon. The surge cost Wall Street investors almost $20 billion in mark-to-market losses, and Peter Fee's brokerage spent the day issuing thousands of margin calls on its customers' bearish GameStop bets, forcing them to realize losses. During the trading day, interactive brokers, Robinhood and other online brokerages also restricted some trading in GameStop, movie theater chain AMC Entertainment, BlackBerry and other stocks that were part of the pump. The move, they later said, was to conserve cash as their clearinghouses demanded money to cover potential customer losses amid the fervent speculation. At Interactive Brokers, Peter FFY estimated between $500 million and $1 billion in potential customer losses. Cash also got tight at Robinhood, the Silicon Valley unicorn that had raised billions in venture capital and unleashed the speculative frenzy, introducing millions of young traders to frictionless stock and options trading. It drew down hundreds of millions in its credit lines and raised $1 billion in new emergency cash as its clearinghouse reserves rose tenfold. Peter FFY went to bed that night worried of a market collapse. If the broker has to pay more money to the clearinghouse for customer losses than he has, then the broker is bankrupt. And when one broker goes bankrupt, usually a few others do too, he told Forbes late on Thursday evening. So, I'm worried about a systemic failure. The episode of millennial and Zoomer aged Reddit traders taking on Wall Street's wealthiest and winning has turned into the David vs Goliath tale of the age of inequality. There are some big winners from GameStop, young investors who've already taken massive profits that can be used to pay off student debt, or build savings. For many onlookers, the humiliation of Wall Street is icing on the cake. Despite the right cheers, GameStop's surge is surfacing a market fraught with leverage, unprecedented speculation and superficial analysis at almost every corner, exposing enormous risks. The pain started with the hedge funds that lost big, but as risk bubbles over, it will have reverberations in the broader market see story. What's been happening really is a reflection of the quality of analysis, the quality of work, the quality of input that is coming to Wall Street, says billionaire investing legend Michael Steinhardt. And it's a sorry tale, that something like this can happen and it's obviously something that will have a bad ending for people who are in a position to afford it least.